Sexual reproduction in a flowering plant, this video is bringing to your attention two important statements which you should include, particularly related to gamete formation. Remember, as with all answers, please use factual bullet points to get your marks. Definitions and diagrams are so important, so practice with exam questions. And remember, recap your topic, refine your knowledge and repeat the process often. The first important statement is the pollen grain produces the male gametes. But you must go on and then discuss how the generative nucleus divides by my usually in a pollen tube, to form the two male gamete nuclei. Next statement. The embryo sac produces an egg cell and polar nuclei, those two polar nuclei, and you're going to specifically outline each of the steps. You're often asked what happens after fertilisation to the parts of the flower. The integuments, the walls of the ovule, become the testa, the tough outer coating of the seed. The ovary swells to become the fruit, and the role of the fruit is to protect the seed and to aid with its dispersal. The ovary wall becomes the pericarp, and the pericarp is the outer wall of the fruit. Germination often features on many of the exam questions. Remember, it's the regrowth of the embryo plant following dormancy, and it's all kicked off when water enters the seed through the micropile. And remember, you must be able to identify that. Digestion always takes place in germinating seeds and the products of digestion are used in respiration and for growth materials. In germinating seeds, it's usually the radical that's the first part of the embryo plant to grow and be visible. There's two types of germination and it's all to do with whether or not the cotyledons remain above or below the soil. Epigeal germination is when the cotyledons are raised above the soil. This is because the hypocotyl grows into a hook and pulls them upwards above the soil. This happens in sunflower seeds. The hypocotyl is the part of the embryo stem below the cotyledons or where the cotyledons attach. The next type of germination is hypogeal germination. The cotyledons remain below the soil. The epicotyl simply grows upwards and this happens in broad bean seeds. The epicotyl is the part of the embryo stem just above the cotyledons or just above where the cotyledons attach. The whole topic of sexual reproduction in a flowering plant is really important, particularly gamete formation and the practicals. Also, know everything about seeds. Why are they monocots or dicots, endospermic or non-endospermic? What does this mean? So know the full story and give detailed bullet points. So when you finish sexual and asexual reproduction, go back and revise xylem and phloem. The diagrams are never known. Water transport too, focusing on transpiration and the leaf. Definitions, practicals and diagrams. Please focus on them. The very best of luck.